Hey folks, Aaron here. Uh, it's been quite some time since I've done a video. I think like a month now. Uh, and you know, I feel really bad about that. I apologize guys, but it has been probably one of the most insane two months I've had in some time. Um, this video probably, by the way, will be a little bit long guys. So if you don't want to watch the whole thing, I completely understand. Um, I'll get rid of the, the bulk of what I need to talk about right now. And then this way, you know, you can watch the rest of it if you, if you care to the rest, watch the rest of it. Uh, so like the first part will probably just be updates. Basically videos, I don't want to say I delayed or, or not going to come out because I, I do plan on doing some like minor reviews for stuff that came out last season that I finally watched and finished, um, in my spare time. I do probably plan to have it. Some of them's release maybe within the next couple of weeks, uh, erratically. So maybe next week I'll have one review. I want to have, um, the My Hero Academia movie reviewed because I, I did watch it. I loved it. By the way, it was really phenomenal. I do want to have, uh, I want to talk about Dororo a little bit because, I mean, even though it's not done yet, I do want to talk about it because I'm really digging that. And I do have some reviews for all these shows that, that I finished uh, last season, so they're coming. It's just going to be a little bit erratic. Now, the reason for this, obviously, if you guys follow me on Twitter, which I, I always put my big stuff, you know, in terms of, like, announcements and information on there because I'm, I'm one of those people I don't mind sharing that with you guys and girls out there. And... It's not really like to me, I, I keep a lot of things obviously personal about my own life, but there's some things I don't really need to worry about keeping personal because it's not like it's going to, you know, shatter me if, if it comes public. Uh, if you guys don't know, my dad went to the hospital on the 6th of April. Uh, it was not the first time he went to the hospital. He went to the hospital a couple of times within the last, uh, last few weeks before that, but it, it was bad. Um, I, I got home from work and I found my dad from what looked like he had a stroke and... You know, it's, whew. as a son who, you know, loves his dad more than else, I mean, uh, my dad to me is my best friend, he's my hero, he's someone that is probably one of the reasons I'm here in this world, and besides, you know, my mom, obviously, but my dad has done everything for me in terms of life, it's just like, he's helped me, you know, succeed where I thought I would fail, he's helped me get into college, you know, because there's a whole thing with that where I, I, you know, he helped me actually talk to the dean, and got me into my college and you know I mean everything from there was my own merit obviously because I had to work my ass off and bust my ass in school but the thing was is that you know he was the one who got me in I owe my dad so much I really do but he got um he had he had he got an affection that went f into his bloodstream and basically gave him a series of strokes um, it wasn't like one, it was several. And the infection grew as a bacteria also became a bacteria around his heart. So right now what he's dealing with is the fact that he has a bacteria around his heart that's making him weaker. And it's giving him a chance of having more strokes. Like he can have, at any time they said another dozen or so, and they don't know the damages of that or even what that could do to his body. Um, it's also damaging his heart in general. It's making it weaker. So my dad's dealing with a lot. Which in turn, you know, obviously it makes it makes my life a little harder because, you know, I want to be there for my dad. And that's why, you know, even I took off several days from work. I, you know, I was with my dad when he went to the first hospital, which was, you know, a whole thing in its own right. I was with him during that time period. They switched him to another hospital that's more uh, uh, adequate for what he's dealing with because they, need, they possibly need to do surgery on him. I'm hoping they don't have to because in his current state, they said that surgery would be detrimental it's something more of a risk than anything else because the, the bacteria around his heart is very large now and they're, they're wondering how much damage he's doing to his heart but because he's so weak from the, the fact that they gave him an illness and spread through his body gave him the strokes you know doing a surgery on his heart would probably do more damage than just you know help him out so you know i i ask you guys to pray for me you know pray for my dad Pray for my family as we deal with this because it's just, it's rough. It really is, guys. Um, it's not, you know, it's not, I'm a, I'm, if many of you guys know, and I think many of you guys do know me by now, and if you're not, if you're new to my channel, I'm sorry, I'm kind of doing a video that's like a little depressing. It's not really, you know, my forte to do videos like this, but it happens. You know, I'm one person like I, I, many people probably online do. I am open about what's going on in my life, and I'm not really afraid to hide any of that stuff, but 
you know, I, I don't want to start off with like new subscribers because I, I hit 2000, which was awesome. And I was so happy about that. But I kind of, it, it came on the back burner of all this stuff happening where my dad was weak at the time. And then he got to, he had to go to the hospital and just, it's one of those things that it's just so much one thing after another that you're like, you're left in this like almost blur of what to do, where to go. And it's just, it's rough. It really is. Um, but with that being said, you know, I appreciate all of those who've supported me so far. I know Twitter, I've had, a, I had, I want to say dozens of messages and dozens of tweets and retweets about people saying, you know, they hope they, my dad pulls through and praying for us, healing us, etc. I, I owe you guys so much for that because it's, you know, it, it might not be you in person saying that, obviously, or you actually doing it by hand, you know, coming over and saying that, but what you're doing is you are giving me strength. You're giving my dad strength, whether, you know, he realizes it or not, because he knows that there are people that are really gutting for him to get better. You know, he had a whole bunch of visitors at the hospital. It was, it was crazy. My dad had, you know, touched so many people's lives because my dad's just that type of person. My dad's a hard worker. He's, he's, you know, made himself known to be a very nice guy. You know, he, he, he's someone that if you need to help with something, he didn't even think about it. He just did it. And I've always tried to incorporate that in my own, my own life, you know, even before I think even I saw that from my dad, I, I was trying to be someone that's there for people. Like even during this, I'm, I'm dealing with some people who need my help with things. And you know what? It's something I don't mind doing. I, I do. I still strive. Even now I tell people, listen, just because I'm depressed and dealing with all this crap thing, you know, my family and stuff right now, I'm still there for people. I still want to be there for people. If people need me for whatever reason, if they're depressed about something or need to talk or just need to vent, I'm still there. I might be dealing with all this and I might be in a, kind of not honestly damaged way but i might be in, in a way that's made me weaker but i'm always there for people who need me and it's something that it's my like that's like my dad my dad could be with like the flu and he would still go to work and still help people out work because you know he, need, he knew the people needed help with that my dad's like that and and it's something i've always admired about him uh that being said you know that's that's pretty much the bulk of what this video will be at least about in terms of that so update wise it's it's like you know, I, I'm dealing with that, so I don't expect a lot of videos, unfortunately. It's, I, I wish I could do more videos. I was actually trying to get back into this flow where I could start doing videos. I, I started recording some stuff and had to scrap it because either A, I just didn't have the time to do it, or B, it's not worth releasing it now. So it's like, you know, it, it's pointless for that. Um, I mean, you guys don't, if you guys don't know or don't follow any of my tweets in general, which you should do, I'm telling you. Go follow me on Twitter. It's not because I'm trying to promote myself on Twitter to get a bigger... I don't give a shit about that. It's just that it's easier for me to talk to you guys and kind of just describe things I do and, and also to see other things I'm involved in. I'm part of Honey's Anime, so I still do... That's my second job. I still do articles for them. I'm doing reviews for uh, Promise Neverland, Yakuza no... Uh, is it Yakuza no uh, Neverland? <laughs> Promise Neverland, if it makes sense. Um, I'm also doing reviews for uh, Boku no Hero Academia as they release ch um, chapter-wise, which... That's been insane. I'm so happy that I was able to start doing reviews for that. I still do game reviews and other things. So, I mean, it's not like I'm completely gone from the face of the internet. I still do reviews in some form. In terms of my own channel, obviously, I don't do as much as I used to. But I will try. I swear to God. I I, I'm, I was trying already before, but then this happened. And I, it just caused all my plans to go out the window. And it's not that I'm trying to lie to you guys and be like, Oh, I'm going to make videos and come back. I, I legitimately had videos planned. I had things I wanted to do. And I had the time. I was figuring out how to finally micromanage time because I don't think people realize when you work the AM shift like I work from 4 to 12 30 I wake up at 2 30 in the morning to drive to work get there by like 3 30 around that and then I start work at four o'clock when you do that it really puts a strain on your body even if you're a night owl because I'm a night owl as many of you guys know I'm always awake at night but you know like even right now it's 9 45 at night actually and I'm doing this video just as of now but I'm someone that I'm used to being awake at really late night, like really late time periods. But at the same token, I'm also used to like, if I'm tired, I can go to sleep at like any time if I wanted to in the past. I can go to sleep like six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning and then wake up like one thirty or wake up, you know, at 12 and be okay. Now that I work until 1230, it's where I come home, you know, I either do a few errands that I have to do or I go to sleep until like four or five o'clock or six o'clock. And then I wake up and, you know, it's, it's already, the day's kind of over. And I'm getting ready to go work later on the day. So it's like, it, it puts a strain on your body in terms of just mentality. And, and there are times where I could I could do this perfectly fine. I could do all the, the different things I have to do. But then there are also times where I, it's not a struggle, but it's more so that I don't have a lot of free time to make videos for YouTube. YouTube is on the lower part of my hierarchy of things that I have to do. You know, I have work. 
I have my second job, which is Honey's Anime. And then I have my own personal life, and then I have YouTube. YouTube as a hobby is always something that comes dead last because I love doing YouTube. I love the, the feedback I get from people. I love that I have a following. I love that people generally like the videos I make when I used to make them all the time. But at the same token, you know, it's not something I pay the bills. It's not something that I ever invested a lot of time in. It's not something like Patreon. I, used to, I, I talk about Patreon. I always tell people it's like Patreon, I, I know, helps people because it, it for bigger followers and bigger, you know, subscriber counts. Patreon could be something that almost is another job. It, it gives you what essentially is more than sometimes what other jobs pay you in a month. And I've seen plenty of YouTubers make careers because of Patreon. But Patreon is still something that you have to invest time into in its own right. You know, like you have to add, you know, uh, benefits to people. So, like, I wanted to always do blooper videos. And I was trying my best to make blooper videos uh, more consistent than I was before. Kind of impossible to do now. Um, you know, it's it takes time to make those blooper videos. I don't just slap them together and go, "Here you go, it's a, a blooper video." I actually find the ones that I think are funny because I generally messed up, and then I put them into the video and then I edit them slightly to you know make it so they flow a little better. I don't want them to have no flow. I don't feel like just blooper after blooper is funny. That's just annoying. I've seen blooper videos that do that, and it's like that's not a blooper video. That's not fun to watch. I don't want to watch. Oh, here's here's several mistakes. It's fun when they have a flow to them. So, you know, some of them are out of order. Sometimes I'll still do a, a blooper video from like five months ago. And then I have one that's recent because it just flows into that. Where it's be rambling about something and then messing up completely a second later. That actually makes me laugh. I'm like watching my own video. I'm, I'm cracking up at a stupidity, stupid concept I did. Something stupid I, I made. But, you know, blooper videos take a little more time. And, and for me, it's, I don't really get Patreon money for that. So I don't really do them. You know, like I used to, I was trying to do them for free a little while, and I'm like, you know, as much as I like doing them, they aren't worthwhile to do them all the time, so, you know, I, I can't really do that. Um, you know, if I, if I start getting more Patreon followers, I'm not saying you have to, don't, listen, don't get me wrong, again, I have two jobs, I, I make enough money, I don't make tons of money, I'm not, I think someone told me, oh, you, you're rich, Aaron, you got, I'm like, I'm not rich, I just know how to save money, I know how to kind of play with money to make it work for what my hobbies are and for what I do. So, you know, like, I know how to micromanage and budget things correctly. Uh, I have, you know, as much anime as you see me buy, as much video games you see me buy, I have a adequate savings account because I saved a lot of my money from Honey's Anime. I also saved a lot of money from my job. And you'd be surprised. You only put, like, a couple hundred dollars away every paycheck. That shit adds up. It, like, it really fast. Before you know it, you're like, oh, shit, I'm, I'm hitting this milestone. I'm hitting so it's like you, you gain money that way. And it, but a lot of people tend to blow their money really fast because of overhead and all that. And that's a completely different story. If you have to spend the money, you have to. But I've always made sure that I spent, I still pay the bills I have to, and also make sure that I still have the micromanagement of, of saving money. I also still live with my dad. I live, you know, I live in an apartment with them, so it's like I can avoid certain things. But you know, I don't have to pay rent, for for example. But if even if I had to, and ironically, I was thinking about this with the the uh, the, the fact my dad went to the hospital. My dad's still getting paid from his other job, luckily, but even if I had to pay out of my own pocket, I still could afford that and still have money to save on the side because I just know how to budget money. It's like, yeah, okay, I live at home, but I'm also not so dependent on my parent or parents in general that I, I need them for everything, you know, in terms of money, which is always a good thing. I, I think if, if I can teach any, anything to people, and I try to sometimes do it, and one of my friends also does it once in a while, save your money. <laughs> Don't be so frugal with it at the same time. Save your money as much as you can you know put money aside it's not because you want to always like have every single dime saved that when you get old no it's not that it's just that you want to have money for a rainy day in case god forbid something happens and you need that money or if you plan on buying something that's a big investment you have that money on the side a lot of people blow through the money and before you know it they're like oh shit what happened to my paycheck that i had from two weeks ago it's like it's gone because you spend it you know poorly or you spend it on everything even if you have a lot of overhead, even if you spend, you know, most of your money on bills, family, etc., always put something aside. Even if it's like twenty five dollars from a paycheck, or if it's a thirty dollars or a hundred, whatever you have, put it to the side. That is your money you never touch. You forget about it, let it build up. And before you know it, that will build up. Even if you think about it, it's only even a hundred dollars only a month, if you think about it. Within a year, that's twelve hundred dollars. That's that's twelve hundred dollars. In two years, twenty four hundred. In three years, you know, it's 3600 it, it adds up. And it adds up to the point that you can do other things with it if you have to, God forbid. But you always try to save that because, you know, even if you want to, you know, if 
if the fact that you can't do anything with later on in terms of like oh i want to buy something like a house you might not be able to do that with only saving a hundred dollars a month but you can do that if you put in money and you keep investing over the course of years and then you're like oh shit i could i could have put down a down payment on a house or i could put a down payment on an apartment you'd be amazed so kind of the side video side part of the video is is save money it's important because when stuff like this happens you know you're like do I have money? You know, you worry about it, and you realize, okay, I, I'm okay. I can still deal with everything. Cause I was, I was worried. I was like, oh, you know, what happens if my dad stopped getting paid or whatever? And then I'm like, no, wait, I, we're okay. You know, I, I have enough money saved up in my own account. He has enough money saved up in his, and it's like you can do what you need to do with it. Um, you know, you guys aren't seeing me crying right now. I, I've been crying probably several times a day in the last two weeks um i legit it's been rough it has been rough on me in ways that i never thought i would be tested in life um you know i've lost friends in the past i've lost a friends to suicide i've lost friends to just general death i've lost them to time i've lost them to them distancing them, themselves or whatever for whatever reason it, it's always hard you you lose someone in your life even if they're small and in in prospect of your grander things of life it's hard because you lose a part of yourself you know you lose something that you'd put not just time i don't want to say put like a, like an investment but you put in you know with this person to, and you built up a, a rapport with them you built up a friendship with them you built up something that's more than just oh hey what's up it's acquaintance you you put in a life into this person then have them disappear from your life even for a brand a grand second or even a minute it, it's it's hard it's hard when you lose a parent that has been such a big part of your life or you have you know you are on the verge of losing a parent or if you even are just worried about that person like in my case it's three different elements in one because you know it's not that my dad's gone my dad's still here thank god and for other people they i can't i can't say that some people lost their family early on in life and some people are losing their families as of now i just lost i know my one friend just lost his father uh not even last year and i, I felt horrible for him um, you know, it, that really gravely affected me because I felt so bad for this dude because, you know, he's such a nice guy and he lost his father to see that. It's just, it, it's, it's so disheartening because I, I thought about it for myself, like what happens if I lost my dad? And now I'm at this crossroad where <laughs> my dad's not gone, obviously, but he runs these, these three risks of him being, you know, so messed up from the surgery or from the infection or possibly dying. And it's like, He's like, right now he's not home. He's not, you know, hanging out with me. Like, we used to always hang out on his days off. we go see movies and stuff like that. We actually had planned to go see uh, Us, and we planned to go see, um, I want to say, what was it, Avengers when it comes out. And those plans are going to be on hold right now because he's not here. He's, he's uh, in the hospital. He's battling for his life. And, you know, what sucks is I have to work. I, you know, I took days off from work. I almost got in trouble because of it um, because I couldn't get freaking doctors, though, because my the hospital was like, Oh, this it's a whole different thing with that. It's such a bunch of malarkey. I'll put it that way. But you know, I had to take days off from work, and and you know, I was able to be by his side during a lot of it. But now that he's in a different hospital, he's a little further away. I can't get to that hospital as easily. And what's even worse is that you know, it's I have to work, and I can't. I don't want to lose my job either, because as much as I need, I, I need my dad. I need work too, because I need to make sure that bills are paid and, and things like that so it's like you know work is my least priority when it comes to that i, I still am more like if i had to and i had to take tomorrow off to for whatever god forbid reason i'd do it in a heartbeat i wouldn't freaking second guess it i'd just be like oh call off work or whatever because my dad but you know it's i i do have to have and maintain that it's my own life too so i have to make sure that i know hey i gotta work i gotta make sure that i know i have responsibilities in this world i can't just forsake them because time doesn't halt for anyone you know it's something that keeps going no matter what so even if uh, you know even if something happens to my dad or my mom for example my life still continues on everyone else's life still continues on time doesn't stop you know it, it stops for some people in terms of once you're dead that's that's it your time is done but for other people around you it still goes on it's it's some of the i think it's one of the hardest things to realize but i think when people finally do understand how time works for people it puts a perspective in your life and you know it's not that it's not new i'm like i'm not just learning that now i've learned that many many aeons ago but you realize that you you have to re the time is something that's very important it's very precious there's a reason for that people saying it all the time and i don't think people understand it until it's too late you know you, you don't you didn't do what you had to do in life or you didn't do what you want to do in life 
So, you know, like the whole moral of the story is that it's 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 rough. You know, I'm dealing with a lot, and I, I'm so happy that I have the people in my life because they're the ones that keep me afloat and making it so I don't cry every minute. Because I I partly do want to cry every minute. I want to curl up into a ball and, and just just lie on my bed and just sleep. Um, but I can't do that. I, I have responsibilities I have to do. I have people that rely on me too, and by doing that, it would not help anyone. It just would be selfish in many ways. I can't do that. So I'm trying to stay strong. <laughs> um, you know, someone at work said that I'm amazing and, and so and so strong, and I was like, I don't know if that makes me amazing or strong. I, I think it makes me just tough, maybe. Um, like I'm tired. You know, it's it's, and it's not like oh, I didn't, did you not sleep? It's it's not that. It's just even when you do sleep, it's you have so much in your heart and your mind. It's it makes it where your sleeps are restless. You know, you don't you sleep and you're just sleeping to make sure that your body is accumulating some form of rest. But you know, your mind and heart and spirit really didn't get relaxed. It, it's still all that stuff is back. Or even there's been a few times I've woken up and thought, oh man, was I just dreaming? It was a nightmare. And lo and behold, I woke up and realized, no, it's not. It's the reality. Um. So I, I do appreciate the guys and girls out there who have stuck by me with this. I, I appreciate the ones that are loyal enough to realize I am still going to make videos. Obviously, I'm still going to do content on YouTube. I still want to. It's, just, it's a good escape, and it's a good way of releasing myself onto you. And not doing it in a, in a way like, oh, I'm venting or, or telling, um, you know, like these, these sad stories. Because I don't always do that. I don't like doing that stuff. Um, and I, I apologize if anyone takes these videos and say, like I said before, if you know, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you felt that you don't want to hear a story that's kind of sad, you can skip the thing, you know, it was a, just update primarily. But I wanted to make sure that those who actually genuinely cared got to see and understand what's going on with me. Um, you know, my dad is in a dire strait right now. He's in a, in a situation where only time will tell what's going on with him. You know, he's a fight. My dad's a fighter. Those who don't know my dad, he is one of the strongest people I know on this planet. And I don't say that lightly. I mean, like, legit, I've seen a lot of strong people. My dad puts them to shame, and he's an older man. He's 60 years old, and you would, you would think he's, like, 30 years old the way he acts. Like, he's so powerful. He, he could work despite having no sleep for, like, four days straight and be completely fine and, and come home and be like, I'm good. You want to go watch a movie or relax or whatever or play a game? and Or he just sleep, you know? It's, my, my dad's always been this, this guy that I've looked up to, and I'm like, wow. That's what I want to be one day. And I, I can't even touch it. I can't even hold a candle to my dad. You know, there's there's strengths I have versus my dad. And there's a lot of more weaknesses I have too, you know. But, I mean, you know, I don't think anyone should be cloned of each other. So, it's not like I'm trying to be my dad. But there are things that I've wanted to make sure that I've always impl implemented. And that's why, like, even at work, I, I, I laugh at some of the work workers I have. Some workers are, they bust their ass and then some don't do shit. And I'm like, why? You know, like, you have a job. You're supposed to be doing it. Just do your job. Um, but it's, it's, it's rough. It's, it's a rough time for me. And I'm sorry if this sounds like me rambling a little bit, but I think it's partially I am. Uh, so I'll probably get to wrap up the video on that. You know, I'll tell you right now, guys, I have been watching the newer shows of the season. I haven't seen everything yet. I've seen a few shows. I saw, I'm still watching the Row. I'm still watching, um, Rise of the Shield Hero. Uh, I checked out Bungo Stray Dogs season three, which was awesome. It was, it was really good. Uh, I'm watching Ultraman on Netflix. I'm almost done with that. I was watching that with my dad, so I really didn't want to finish it by myself. But I, I probably will do, and I'll probably have a review of it probably next week if everything goes as well. If like nothing happens in my life, I'll, I'll have a review out for next week of Ultraman. Maybe even earlier there. We'll see. Because I was at episode 10. I only have three episodes left. But uh, but besides that, guys, you know, listen, if you have any questions for me, you know, you can always ask me on Twitter. You can follow me on there. You can always ask me in the comment section if you don't want to follow me on Twitter. Go for, just ask me in the comments. I'll, I'll answer when I can because I'm usually always someone who responds by comments and stuff like that. I thank all of you for, you know, getting to this milestone of 2,000 subscribers. I thank all of you for being there with me in this situation. That's very hard. Um, you know, I, I wish I had better news right now. I mean, my dad's, you know, my dad versus how he was a few weeks ago is a lot stronger. But he's also dealing with a lot more too. So it's like... You know, from one battle of one, there's another 20 more battles to go. And, you know, some of those he's winning profusely and some he's kind of losing. So, it, it, it's it's tough. It really is. But, you know, I, I told someone the other day I felt lost. And that's probably the best way to put it. Like, I'm here, but I'm also partially not here. I, I have this 
this thing where it's inside of me my heart is beating you know I'm, I'm here mentally and physically but emotionally I'm kind of checked out to certain degrees like there are times where I'm perfectly fine there are times I, I reminisce about the past and I just want to cry and then you know at work I'm luckily I, I don't have to focus on it. I just do my job and I, I focus on doing what I have to do and even during the, the darker moments, I, I just go right back into the work mode. I'm like, okay, I just got to. So I understand why people work when they're depressed. Now I get that. Because I really never understood that. Like, why, how can you work when you're depressed? Or I, I understand now why that works. You know, it, it takes your mind off things. But, you know, it, it's, it's rough, guys. It's rough. I will keep you guys posted, though. You know, if you want to ask about how my dad's doing, feel free to do it on Twitter. Feel free to do it on here. I, res I hope you guys respect, you know, various things. Like, I won't answer, obviously, everything. I'm not going to go into super amounts of detail, like, how he got hurt. What he tried. I don't want to do that. It's not it's not a place to do that. Um, you know, like, various other things. I'm not going to say where he is, obviously. Um, be, you'd be surprised. I had someone I had someone say something really stupid to me on Twitter the other day, and I got so so livid. I was so pissed off. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to do that stuff, obviously. But <sighs> that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Um, like I said, don't don't. You know, there are ways to see, see my content. You know, it might not be on YouTube, but like you can see on Honey's Anime. Follow Honey's Anime on Twitter. Definitely help them grow because I want Honey's Anime to grow. I really, I love Honey's Anime. It's still one of the most important jobs I've ever had in my life just because I love their content before. And then I got to actually get involved with it myself personally. And it became a whole new realm of things. So, I, I, you know, it's, it's definitely helped me out a lot of ways too with my stress because writing has always been a thing that it's been a stress relief for me. So even doing it as a job, it's still that stress relief. It lets me kind of lose myself in my words for a little bit if that makes sense uh, writers understand that people that don't write might not understand that because you know you might not understand how you lose yourself in work but you'll understand if you if you're something passionate about like if you read a lot or if you play video games how you lose yourself in those realms it's the same kind of concept for writing for me like i lose myself in that i just become i, I just become the person typing and i just whatever i'm typing it, is in my mind it's that's all that's all i'm focused on so it's a good thing but um you know, you can see my content that way too. So I'll talk to you guys later. God bless you all. Have a great night, everyone. Hopefully I bring you better news soon. Hopefully I bring you the reviews I want to bring you guys. Don't worry, they are coming, I promise. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.